Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about Donald Trump, one of my favourite topics. Yes, Trump is out of office, as we all know, and uh, it's still a very interesting time. And we're talking about the second impeachment, which uh, was a win for Donald Trump. They didn't impeach him, which means he can run in 2024. So it's a very interesting time we're in right now. And uh, let's talk about it tonight in the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, Donald Trump uh, survived the second impeachment, which means he can run in 2024. Uh, obviously, he's been quite silent since leaving office, which obviously makes sense, I think. I think uh, uh, a little bit of quiet time from the Donald so he can uh, regroup is a good, good strategy at the moment. And uh, very lousy glass, and obviously uh, Biden supporters are flying, flying around this park. Um, Biden uh, has now been in office of, uh, over a month, and he's a complete disaster. I think everyone can see that. He did ridiculous things like uh, raise the price of insulin. But this goes to show he's in the hands of Big Pharma. And he cancelled that um, pipeline uh, with Canada, which really pissed off, uh, that runs through Canada, really pissed off uh, everyone in Canada and lost uh, thousands of jobs. And also, we'll make um, the United States uh, energy independent back on the Middle East, of course, because that's exactly what, you know, Israel, all those wars around Israel, that's exactly what they want. And of course, he reinvaded Syria almost immediately. So all the globalists that surround Joe Biden are doing that. And, um, you know, uh, they did try and um, basically uh, impeach him, which would mean that Trump couldn't run again for president. Obviously, the GOP want to um, uh, basically side with Trump and um, because he can help them win some uh, seats in the House, uh, in the upper and lower House, um, in the 2022 um, you know, uh, elections and also in the uh, next presidential election. So um, obviously, hopefully too, they can address the issue of um, voter fraud. Uh, obviously, it was such a huge issue. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to uh, um, allow it to slide for the next election. And obviously, there should be no COVID-19 around for the next election in 2024. So I don't think they're going to have anywhere near as many mail-in ballots. So it probably will be a lot harder for them to rig. So Donald Trump is a definite chance for 2024, which is interesting. And also, he's going to be in a position as kind of an opposition leader, really, where he can comment from mar a -Lo, He set up an office there, and he, he copied Joe Biden, who had the office of the president-elect. He, he's got his own office of the former president, where he's going to be making edicts and stuff and uh, commenting. Uh, he hasn't really started it officially yet, but he will. Uh, he's just going to have a little rest six-month break, which the guy deserves. And uh, I think it's really interesting. Uh, so I really think um, the kind of politics of opposition that Donald Trump represents and that we represent in the new right and the dissident right, we're already just beginning, really, and that's something that Donald Trump said. And I think, you know, I was disheartened there for a while. I know I did a couple of reports where I was disheartened whether I wanted to continue, but I still think we have an opportunity um, to uh, bring about change and to discuss change and to discuss positive ideas. So I'm going to keep doing these podcasts, and hopefully um, Donald Trump will keep going and we're going to see him run uh, for president in 2024. And maybe if they can um, uh, actually make sure the election is not rigged, um, obviously Donald Trump will win, in my opinion. So that's what I think, ladies and gentlemen. for talking about. Thank you for watching and support Donald Trump. And let's you know go through these lean years and uh, you know in opposition and fight the good fight as the saying goes. Thank you for.